shoe emoji being racist. That's right. The I see racism everywhere people have come up with a new one. Ballerina Misty Copeland posted to Instagram this question. Quote, in an era where Apple showcases diversity across its emoji spectrum, why is the point shoe left behind? Here's her full prissy rant about racist emojis that you never needed to hear. This sob fest turned into a petition on change.org. In Copeland's petition, she talked about, quote, moments of triumph and challenge. She goes on to say, quote, one of those challenges was the ubiquitous European pink point shoe. A shade that didn't reflect my skin tone. Well, slap my ass and call me a bigot. When did an inanimate object, a digital graphic people carelessly send when texting, become the forefront of the war on racism? Who even knew they made ballet shoes in a variety of skin tones? Not me. Oh my God, what the hell? If you thought this was too dumb to get traction, you'd be wrong. So far, more than 22,000 lint lickers have signed this petition. If you were on an anti-racist crusade, are ballet shoes where you'd start? Consider this. Black Americans are second most likely to experience poverty in the U.S., with more than 20% living below the poverty threshold. Black Americans have only 10 cents for every dollar in wealth that white families have. A black person is five times more likely to be stopped without just cause than a white person. African Americans are more likely than white Americans to be arrested. They are then more likely to be convicted. They're also more likely to experience lengthy prison sentences. African American adults are nearly six times as likely to be incarcerated than whites. According to the ACLU, blacks are nearly four times more likely to be arrested for marijuana possession than whites, even though their rate of marijuana usage is comparable. Blacks make up nearly 60% of the U.S. prison population. Black Americans make up nearly 30% of all individuals arrested in the U.S., more than double their share of the total population. Black youth make up 15% of all U.S. children, but constitute about 35% of juvenile arrests. Less than 10% of all adults in the United States have a felony conviction, while more than 30% of African Americans have one. Nearly half of the people serving life and virtual life prison sentences are African American. More than a third of the individuals executed under the death penalty within the last 40 years have been black. Out of all this racism, Ballerina Misty Copeland dives right into racist emojis. Is she ignorant or arrogant? Or has she just become so elitist who has no connection to regular people and thus lacks the ability to know what a real crisis is? It's ironic, really, that she's bitching about racism to a company who has an atrocious human rights record. Is her tutu cutting off the blood to her brain? Doesn't she realize that Apple doesn't care? If they comply with her, it's merely virtue signaling. I mean, just a few years ago, a report alleged that seven of Apple's international suppliers used slave labor, including the use of Uyghur Muslims. But no, it's the lack of diversity in belly slipper emojis that is Apple's greatest sin. Maybe Copeland should get off her toes and out onto the streets. No one cares about ballet slippers. All you're doing is proving that you have a lack of understanding on race in America. Thanks for listening to Broad Thinking. Be sure to tune in next Monday night for an all-new episode. In the meantime, be sure to follow the Ladies Love Politics channel on TikTok, Instagram, Variety on Social, and YouTube.